Hi there. Today we're going to run down all the crafting abilities in a simple how do you use them. Thank you to Nick on Demand and my Discord for recommending this video. Firstly, in crafting we have progress, quality, and durability. Progress is finishing and completing a craft while quality gives us the percentage that a craft will be high quality, which is important for getting more experience and having better stats when you're crafting gear. You usually always want to shoot for high quality crafting other than a few niche instances in the game where it doesn't matter. Durability represents when a craft will break. If you use too many abilities that lower the durability to zero, the craft will break and you'll lose the materials. Durability lowers with every progress or quality move you make. We have four conditions, normal, good, excellent, and poor. Normal is just that there's no buffs or debuffs. Good and excellent will greatly increase our ability to get high quality items and give us access to some other special abilities that can only be used during these conditions. And poor is what you always get after an excellent condition, which you want to avoid using quality actions as it will greatly decrease your action effectiveness. The reason crafting can be so difficult to learn as no one macro will work for everyone if your stats are different. Stats are craftsmanship, control, and CP. Craftsmanship relates to your synthesis or progress actions, control correlates to your touch or quality bar, and CP determines how many moves you can make. The more CP, the better usually. We have three important types of abilities, touch, which improves the quality bar, synthesis, which improves the progress bar. Lastly, we have buffs, which improve either your touch actions or synthesis actions and do not cost durability of the craft to use. One last important note is at level 11, we start getting stacks of inner quiet, which we get when using a touch ability that increases the quality bar. Once you get a stack of inner quiet, you touch actions will have buffs to them. Gaining as many of these stacks before you finish a craft is important as we have an ability that will use these stacks and give us big bonus quality numbers in order to better our chances for high quality. Crafting abilities are based on percentages, but if you'd like to see the physical or actual amount of progress or quality they will give you depending on the stats you have, you can hit the calculations button and then find the ability you want to use in order to determine the actual number when you're getting closer to finishing. Now let's run down the abilities. Basic Synthesis increases progress bar, our basic progress move. Basic Touch increases quality bar, our basic quality move. Master's Men uses CP to restore durability to an item. You'll be using this often as lower levels. Hasty Touch has a 60% chance to increase quality, used a lot at lower levels as it's technically a free costing ability that requires zero CP, but will take durability away. You will see this ability a lot in lower level macros. By the way, if you want me to do some macro crafting videos, then leave a comment down below. Rapid Synthesis increases progress, a bit of a gamble as it only has a 50% success rate, but it is used a lot in expert crafts which are super late game. Observe uses CP to skip a move. This is helpful when you have a condition that you do not like, let's say a poor condition that you get right after an excellent and you want to skip that condition or step, you can just use Observe and it will move you to the next step. Tricks of the Trade, only available when conditions are good or excellent, restores 20 CP, important for beginning crafters. The reason being is we can't fully utilize good and excellent conditions at the very beginning of crafting with some buffs, so it's better to restore some of the CP you lost in order to be able to perform more actions later. This is a very important ability and we'll talk about it more in the advanced crafting videos. Waste Not reduces durability cost of each action, so instead of the usual 10 durability cost for basic actions, it will only decrease durability by 5. Veneration. This is a buff that increases your progress or synthesis actions by 50%. Standard Touch, the second version of Basic Touch, basically just a combo from that one and can be seen in a lot of macros. Great Strides, a very important buff ability and basically our big closer for a lot of our crafts. Increases your next quality, aka touch ability, by 100%. You have three steps in order to use this, and we'll get into a lot more detail later. Innovation, another buff ability that increases touch actions by 50%. Final Appraisal, a less used ability for different types of crafts. Use this in order to not accidentally finish a craft before you get it to high quality. It has a specific place, so you won't be using this much as a regular crafter. It's a bit more niche. Waste Not 2, an upgraded version of Waste Not 1. Now, this doesn't replace Waste Not 1 as each have their own place for crafting. So don't think Waste Not 2 is always better than Waste Not 1. It just depends on the specific craft and how much CP you have left. 
by Regat's Blessing, basically our big finisher for the quality bar. This is usually paired with innovation and great strides to increase quality. By Regat's Blessing uses the inner quiet stacks that I mentioned earlier in the video. And depending on how many stacks of inner quiet you have, you'll get a 20% bonus to this ability. So if you have all 10 stacks, this ability is a 300% quality ability. Or if you don't, then just 100%. You see why it's important now and why you will be using this a lot to finish off a lot of crafts. Precise Touch, a great ability that can be used only when the condition is good or excellent. This also gives you another stack of inner quiet. So using this where you can will not only grant you one, but two stacks of inner quiet during these conditions. Important to use where you can. Muscle Memory, can only be used as the first action when starting a craft. This is for some specific openers for crafting and is really helpful for endgame crafting. It is also a buff that increases your next progress abilities, aka your synthesis actions by 100%. Used in a very specific opener, which we'll cover in the macros video. Careful Synthesis, the bread and butter of crafting for most levels once you get this ability. This will be your go-to progress ability because it only costs 7 CP and increases your progress bar by 180% or 150% before you get the buff upgrade. Manipulation, this is a job ability that changes the crafting game. Any time before this ability was probably a struggle, but manipulation makes all the crafts and crafting rotations very easy now. It restores 5 durability for every step. Now this is important because even if you use let's say observe your durability will still be restored very very important ability that stacks with other abilities later on prudent touch increases quality with half of the durability so instead of 10 it only lowers durability by five this cannot be used when you have waste not one or waste not two buff going good ability in theory but costs a lot of cp which is precious so we don't use this as often as you think focus synthesis increases progress with 50 percent success rate or a hundred percent success rate if paired with observe used infrequently reflect awesome ability to get an easy cheap inner quiet stack at the beginning of the craft Preparatory Touch increases quality and gives you an extra inner quiet stack, so instead of 1, you will get 2. But uses double the durability, so instead of 10, uses 20. You may think, well, that isn't worth it. On the contrary, my friend, when paired with the right setup, this ability is godly and is one of my go-to usually paired with manipulation and waste not abilities, to which when paired with, it only costs 5 durability. Costs a lot of CP though, so it's more used when you're doing crafts you know you can finish, not ones you're struggling on. Example being if you're a level 80 crafter doing like a level 74 recipe or something like that. Or if you know you have enough CP in order to finish the craft by doing this method. Groundwork. Similar to preparatory touch, but for the progress bar. This is in the same boat of costing a lot of durability, but again, you pair this with manipulation and waste not for super low durability cost. Usually you see this paired with muscle memory at the beginning of crafts or used at the very end of crafts to finish something off. Delicate synthesis increases both quality and progress at the same time. Intensive synthesis increases progress by 400%, but only when you have a good or excellent condition. Useful for some very few situations, but usually quality is more important to prioritize or CP recovery during a good or excellent condition. Trained eye basically lets you skip crafting for all lower level recipes. Recipes 10 levels below your level, so if you are level 80, crafting a level 70 recipe, you can use Trained Eye for an instant high quality item. Literally the best addition to crafting ever, so you'll be using this a lot for lower level recipes in macros. That is why it costs 250 CP. Advanced Touch the third tier of your basic and standard touch. These have combo actions and are actually useful for some longer late game crafts. Prudent Synthesis increases progress bar at half of the durability cost. Cannot be used with Waste Not 1 or Waste Not 2. Last but certainly not least, Trained Finesse increases quality at no cost to durability. Must have 10 stacks of inner quiet to use though and costs 32 CP. Quite honestly, I don't think I've ever used this ability much. If I have 10 stacks of inner quiet, I'm usually closing out the craft by that time anyway, but I'm sure it has its place somewhere, maybe in expert recipes. And we did it. We went over all the abilities as quickly as I could while I give at least a tidbit of information about it. 
Now, I have a secret. I am a lover of crafting and gathering, even have all the relics for my crafters from the last expansion and fully pentamelted gear for just about everything. I never put out crafting or gathering guides much though, as it's a whole other realm of Final Fantasy XIV that I am obsessed with, but requires a lot of effort. I just didn't think that you guys would be that interested. So if you want to see more basic to advanced crafting or gathering guides, then let me know down below. There's a whole world that many players miss out on, and it's honestly probably my top if not favorite thing in the game that i do if you got any value out of this video then make sure to limit break 3 that subscribe button down below if you're looking for more information on final fantasy then you can click on my profile and look under playlist where i have job guides controller guides or sprout guides that you can click through or you can just click here